the representative from the great team, Dr. or Professor Flores M. Gabayolo. From the gold team B, Professor Avrod M. Hardileza. Fusha team with Professor Melba Bakugan. For violet team, Professor Lisa M. Partisana. And the dark blue team with Professor Enrico Matacuelo. We would like also to request all the faculties of the Humanist State College to please come up stage and occupy the seats here on stage. Thank you. Person, 
becomes both Lord and beneficial. So here we are today to be off from work and study and to play and enjoy. And so to formally start our program, let's all stand to play to pay homage to our beloved country through the singing of our national anthem, which will be played on record. And this will be followed by an invocation by the band. Vice President for uh, Vice President for uh, 
Admin and Finance, uh, Dr. Luna Rivera, Vice President for uh, Research and Extension uh, Services, uh, Dr. Delia Toyana Torino, and of course, uh, our ever uh, outstanding graduate uh, school team, uh, Dr. Erle Marker. All the deans here uh, are here with us. Uh, all of our professors uh, and uh, center uh, head and directors, uh, coordinators, uh, coming from uh, the different uh, centers we have uh, in Iloilo, in the Nau, in Cebu, and uh, all the places here uh, of the Gimbers uh, State College. Uh, for here. To all of you who are there, graduate uh, students and our uh, uh, sports officials who are uh, helping with us uh, from uh, the DPET and uh, from our LGUs, uh, we are here. Yes, uh, friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, uh, my meeting is uh, peace, uh, success, and uh, solidarity. It is uh, uh, my heart uh, warmly welcome uh, to uh, everyone, uh, especially for our uh, centers uh, coming from uh, very far uh, areas. Um, Bunao, Miyagao, Sanukin, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's indeed very far. And yet, and also, you have arranged all over that area in the cameras. Uh, um, thank you for coming here and uh, participate in this uh, annual uh, activities. No? This is one of its kind, uh, one of our best uh, practices uh, in the graduate school that uh, we can master to organize uh, this. Uh, activity in spite of uh, the uh, barriers uh, in space and time and sometimes uh, of course uh, you have to cross uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the channel there no? that uh, yeah, last uh, Saturday I have heard a lot of calls that uh, hey are we going to uh, continue our uh, sports feast but uh, uh, Dr. Ardi uh, decided uh, to uh, this to postpone it and to have put it here. Also, uh, I am not sure that uh, I have not tested well no, because uh, we came from uh, our budget here. We started it uh, in the morning uh, of uh, 19. It ended uh, in, I mean, 4 o'clock uh, in the morning. I have done a new step uh, one hour and 15 minutes. Uh, we woke up because we went to another thing in the Senate. Again, uh, this kind of, and uh, yesterday we have a delayed flight again, very late. The evening, uh, I was not able to uh, the celebrate or dine with the celebration of. Uh, our congressman's uh, congresswoman's uh, birthday. The girl is still uh, alive. Uh, uh, she uh, celebrated her birthday uh, yesterday. But nevertheless, uh, we have the cure, and uh, everyone I see when I uh, walk uh, along with you uh, in uh, our parade, uh, it seems that everybody is uh, really uh, prepared. Some are rolling this plane in a student form. No? But in spite of it, I will be uh, playing basketball. Uh, no? uh, who, whoever team would uh, uh, make me uh, the uh, adopted uh, member, uh, I'm willing to uh, play. No? Around the uh, company. But, uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, indeed uh, a great activity for us. No, let us go on to GC Makamos in the number. But let's make it uh, very uh, uh, joyful. No, uh, now GC is uh, 
the mark, we are now considered uh, an excellent uh, agency. You see, we are highly praised uh, because of our performance. We are one of the three among the, the state universities and colleges uh, in the country which have uh, two notches higher you know, uh, in the recent issues in Italy. So uh, from level one, we moved to level three. And level three is Kaliga Manaton and Pinaka, best uh, in the country. A category in level one and level two. So we have uh, uh, already transcended that and we have moved to uh, three and four. Kaliga, as I said, Manaton and the best issues in the country. As a consequence, uh, we are uh, rewarded with that performance uh, by the Commission of Higher Education that Chair uh, Pupi de Vera, we were given 5 million of uh, Sabina Gandaganova for that outstanding performance. Congratulations, no? Congratulations to everyone. And it's really our country school uh, because we are, we are now uh, buying and we are now uh, uh, participating uh, Applying for a university school. The graduate school uh, is uh, a hallmark of uh, the university because uh, this is the sector where advanced uh, ideas and ideas are being uh, developed, being uh, invented, uh, being uh, researched and uh, worked on, studied on. So uh, this is it. Uh, our advanced education. Our graduate school has uh, a population bigger than the combined total population of our undergrad uh, uh, programs. So, meaning uh, an adult graduate uh, school uh, population is higher than the combined uh, total population of our undergrad, uh, undergrad no? uh, population, IT, BSB. Uh, so this is a very unique uh, uh, and a very uh, significant um, characteristics of uh, Gimmer State College that uh, we will be like the uh, branded uh, university status. So uh, congratulations to Dr. Arlene and uh, all the professors. Uh, our professors will work that uh, we will uh, have this uh, uh, number and excellence. We will soon have one of the best uh, practices uh, in uh, the graduate school in the country. I have uh, instructed and ordered uh, our graduate school to digitalize our uh, researches and studies so that uh, this can be put in the portal and everyone can just exist that we need one to uh, make your study and uh, you know, your research. So this is one of uh, also one of the best features now of our Gary uh, School. And I have instruction that uh, we'll be making use of our technology. We have digitized digitalized for uh, um, learning materials, instructional materials, and all our lecture, lecture notes that uh, can easily be accessed. Uh, we will be opening a portal in the uh, in, uh, internet such that uh, whenever uh, there are the limitations of our uh, direct interactions and uh, open communications, uh, we can just access uh, through these means and move to uh, services that uh, GDC delivered to you. So this is uh, again uh, another uh, best feature of our rapid, uh, our rapid education. We are now using, we are now using uh, you know, Google Classroom, some of us, and uh, I'm also instructing uh, that uh, we will uh, also uh, make use of our uh, in model. And uh, the uh, coming uh, uh, e-books that uh, we will be uh, procuring such that uh, you can just easily access this. So without uh, much ado, I'm not talking this much, but uh, uh, I want that uh, this uh, sports piece uh, on 28th and uh, will be as a children, be planned and uh, will have a more uh, meaningful uh, value to everyone. So, so to everyone, uh, again, uh, 
I hope that uh, God will be with us, keep us safe, and uh, make us, uh, give us uh, a beautiful space, beautiful venue where, where we learn while we do play sound, body, sound mind, sound body. This has been uh, the centuries motive uh, and slogan and banner uh, in uh, front of uh, our great people. Dr. Ratam is 65 years old, but uh, this morning, if you will allow me, I can still be from first quarter to fourth quarter without the leave. And if you want to, uh, you know, if I want to, uh, you want to make it uh, prove to you, please uh, have a key to adapt me, because uh, it seems that I don't have any more space for the, the various things. Thank you very much, Senta. Uh, Thank you very much, Sir Ertal. Do you want to see Sir Ertal play Masked for Lady? Yeah. About that, we'll see you, sir. So your words are exemplary, Dr. Ertal. Thank you very much for those, for those welcoming remarks and for the great news and more dreams for GSC. So when you welcome love with your whole heart, soul, and body, love will welcome you with all its sweetness. At this moment, are very accommodating, down to earth, cool, very supportive, and at the same time, very active and very lovable. Ang tao maaasahan sa ating mga pangangailangan dito sa graduate school. Let's welcome with resounding applause our highly esteemed and ever major dean of the graduate school, Dr. Ernie M. Martir, for the introduction of the guest speaker. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ma'am Pedena and Sir Artano. And to my beloved uh, old professors in the graduate schools. Our speaker this morning is graduated from the Roger City High School, Michigan, United States of America. As an exchange student under the American Field Service Scholarship, Bishop Nettle returned to enroll at the University of the Philippines at Delman as a starry eyed freshman dreaming to become an attorney at law, but eventually ended up as an attorney at law because during his freshman year he was recruited to the Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas. Hope Mapagpapalaya ng Bayan, Democratic Alliance, where together with Jose Maria Sison constituted the youth and students bureau to form Kabataang Makabayan. After which, the bottom the PPP, HMP, DE, the re-established communities, Communist Party of the Philippines, or CPP, New People Army, NPD, National Democratic Front, India, put him as the founding general secretary. It was during his first year that he founded the UP Alpha Sigma fraternity that evolved from an association of scholars to allies to Sambayanan, where many members had offered the super sacrifice whose names have been etched in the wall of remembrance of the Bantayo ng mga bayani. Among the prominent Alpha Sigmas are Senator Gringo Honazan, Professor Randy David, Benito Chamzon, Secretary Michael Defensor, UP Vice President for Public Affairs, Jose Bush de Lizay, Secretary Renato Velasco, and Secretary Gary Olivar. He became the General Secretary of subsequently the National Chairman of the Kabataang Makabayan and led the most violent and militant demonstrations 
against U.S. imperialism in the government that led to the first quarter story. He subsequently joined the underground as the general secretary of the CPP in PE and served as regional secretary for Southern Tagalog in Bicol, where he informed, he informed and led units of the New People's Army. Earlier, he formed units of the NPE in Parla, Negros Oriental, Negros Occidental. After almost two decades as a spring parliament, parliamentarian in Guerrilla in countryside, he was captured and spent almost 11 years of imprisonment from Camp Kami, Port Bonifacio, Camp Bagumbiwa, and ultimately at the new beloved prison of the National Penitentiary for Crimes of Subversion in Rivoli. Upon his release from prison, where he regained his faith and God, after being an anti communist, he asked President Marcos to allow him to teach the Filipino ideology among the soldiers in Palestine that resulted in the emergence of the reform of the armed forces of the Philippines, movement of the ground, the, show, the soldiers of the Filipino people in the young officers' union and oil. After Marcos was kidnapped by the other kinds, Nico entered the seminary at Batak Ilocos Norte to finish his Bachelor of Arts in Sacred Theology and to us for the, to the priesthood of the Adivanian or the 14th Independent Catholic Church and subsequently consecrated Bishop after 10 years of service and finishing his Masters of Theology at the same seminary and was given an honorary Doctor Degree in Divinity. He studied political science in undergraduate in graduate level at the University of the Philippines before he went underground and continued his studies even at the New Eleven Prison where professors like Randy Levin in the NATO was visited and tutored him in sociology and political science. He organized the Ilusa Filipino in 1982 in has propagated the Filipino ideology and Filipinism up to this day. He founded the Revolution Duterte for a revolutionary government in 2017 up to the present. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our beloved Bishop Nino Isaya, our guest speaker today. Thank you. 
simbahan. At uh, nandito rin ang uh, uh, Vice President for Academic Affairs by si Josephine Yodina. Hindi ko po nahagi ang pangalan ng ibang mga pangalan sa karating sa Tora. Palakpakan din natin ang uh, Vice President for Admin Affairs. Hindi ko nahagi ang pangalan. At uh, meron pang Vice President for uh, uh, Athletic ito, sa Student Affairs. Yan ba yung Vice President for Student Affairs. But anyway, uh, narinitin ko manina ang inyong pangulo. Yan ang buusapan. Uh, we were talking, he was talking about many, the many awards that were given to uh, give us uh, state team, state college. And pretty soon, alam ka natin ito, pretty soon, give us state college, college will now be give us state university. In many schools, in many noted universities from the United Kingdom as well as the United States, when the usual uh, enrollment in the graduate school is all, always bigger than the undergrads. You know why? When the graduate school is always bigger than the undergrads, it means that you are engaged in widening, in broadening the frontiers of human knowledge in technology and science. So, palapakan natin ang Dibala State College for finally this uh, matter. And I congratulate the graduate students here. That's why uh, uh, my little message to you this morning will involve something about being a graduate student. I remember myself as a graduate student peering from the windows of the library at the University of the Philippines. I would look at the demonstrations outside within the campus of the university. And I was torn between sticking to my books and joining them in the parliaments of the streets or even in the underground. So I left my ambition to have a PhD in political science in order to join the underground movement. It was indeed a long journey from a mere altar boy, Sakistan. Ako'y Sakistan ng mga pare sa Holy Family Academy under the Benedictine Sisters of Angeles City. I was slated to become a priest. But I was so close to the priests that I decided not to become a priest earlier. Because as many priests have said during the revolutionaries revolution in France, in Spain, and in Italy, some of the priests have been quoted as saying, I did not see the face of Christ among my bishops, among my archbishops, and even among the cardinals. I did not see the face of Christ. Needing to say, there was a disparity, there was a gap between what is said and what is being done by many people of the cloth. And this is a very important definition of ideology. At the outset, a set of ideas could both be called a philosophy and an ideology. But a set of ideas would remain between the pages of the book and a 
it would remain a philosophy. It would only become an ideology when, number one, it is believed in. And it is not only believed in, but belief is raised to the level of faith. Ang simple paniniwala ay iniangat kami sa antas ng pananampalataya. And when you do that, there is a readiness to act. At that point, there is a readiness to sacrifice. There is a readiness later on to offer even life, name, and sacred honor in the altar of sacrifice. That is the meaning of an ideology. And as graduate students, you will be involved in values. Because values are the raw materials in the formation of an ideology. And many say we do not have an ideology. But they do not realize that Dr. Rizal and Aktor Nidal Pilar and your own Ilongo, great Ilongo, Graziano Lopez Aina. Any type of solidarity, form the newspaper of solidarity, organize those Indios Bravos in Barcelona and the women in Madrid. They were the ones responsible in forging and forming the Filipino ideology. So the first propaganda movement of the 1880s composed of Rizal and company were responsible for the formation of a Filipino ideology and the formation of the concept of the first Filipino nation, an ating bansa, and the first Filipino state, an ating gobierno. There are always men, brilliant men of ideas, and there are very few men of action. It is very seldom that in one person you will find the qualities of the men of ideas and the qualities of the men of actions. And many great personages in history would combine in their persona, being men of ideas and at the same time men of actions. In the universities of the United States, those who combine being men of ideas at the same time being men of action, those who are beheaded not only as academicians but also as athletes, they are called BMOC. You know the meaning of BMOC? Big men on campus. So, Madam Siguro, do you say no? Who was the spy and who are now actually big men and women on campus? Because you will combine in your persona the qualities of being men of ideas and women of ideas into and also being men of action and women of action. Hindi po ay masyadong pahabahin na lang yan, pero gusto mo kompleto ang hinalapin din sa akin. Ang masakit maganda ay yung topic natin ngayon. A journey to redefining. Redefining. Excellence, quality, and excellence in sports and culture. Para ni yung quality at saka excellence, halos pagkapareho. Sports and culture, I am very happy na pinagsama ninyo sa inyong, I am very happy na pinagsama ninyo ang inyong 
dito sa inyong uh, theme ang um, sports at saka culture. Earlier, in my, uh, when I had the time, I was able to write a book towards a revolution in fitness and sports. I was assigned to write a book towards a revolution in fitness and sports. Because during the time of President Ramos, he was concerned and was even obsessed with that elusive Olympic gold medal. Mga kasama, mga kapatid, mga magulang, the Philippines nation state had existed from 100, from 1892 when Bonifacio organized the Kukunan, when he was the first president, up to the time that he was replaced by Aguinaldo in the Second Republic, is a good 120, 24 years. 124 years to the existence of a Filipino nation state, complete in an ideology. Has that afforded us enough time? For us to even win a single medal, a gold medal in the, in the world Olympics. When smaller nations, ay nanalo na ng maraming medalya sa Olympic, Olympic Games. Ang Pilipinas magpahangga ngayon ay hindi pa nakakakuha ng isang Gintong Italia mula sa Olympic Games. This raised questions as to why. Nasabi na, nahalawa kasi ng mga politika. Kasi yung Philippine Sports Commission, tinukurang yung mga pondo at yung mga atleta. Kung minsan pagkita sa Olympics, mas marami pa ang mga alalay kaysa sa mga atleta. So in other words, all kinds of reasons are being raised why the great Olympic medals have eluded our country for so long time. Since uh, my freshman year at Cuba, I was already obsessed with the idea of values. The problem is that Yung, yung mga atleta natin na hindi natin tinutukuhan ng values. There is so much emphasis in the dichotomy between values and skills. There is so much emphasis in skills, even in our educational system. Magiging mahusay kang doktor, magiging mahusay kang abogado, magiging mahusay kang uh, engineer, magiging mahusay kang atleta. Pero, Hindi mo sinasagot ang katalungan bakit at para kanil ka magiging mahusay na doktor. At the University of the Philippines, statistics will show you that 95% ng gastos ng pag-produce ng mga doktor sa University of the Philippines, supposedly some of the best doctors not only in the Philippines but also in the world, 95% of the national, 95% of gastos ay nagkakalit sa kundiyan. In what is the result? 95% of these doctors will not serve Filipino patients. Millions of Filipinos will not see the face of a doctor in their entire lifetime. Because 95% of these doctors produced by the UP College of Medicine University of the Philippines will serve foreign masters. Why? Because they do not have love of country. Why? Because we have not been taught the ideology that was forged by his other company and Haina, Lopez Haina. From the time of 18, the 1800s up to the present, what are you doing with us in the last of the Kabata? How are you doing with us? Are you doing with us? Are you doing with us? Are you ay isang dispalinghato o tigni, isang dispalinghato o rin ang pagturo. Sapagkat in the hierarchy of values, 
ang kataas-taasan ng supreme value is the love of the Filipino people. Love for the Filipino people. Ang pangalawa, the fundamental values. Ano yung mga fundamental values? Hari at lama. Na tayo ang hari sa sariling bayan at hindi tayo nililitahan ng sino kung ang dayuhan. Ang ano ba? Na tayo ang may-ari ng ating kabuhayan at ating likas na kayamanan. 50 families control 85 to 90% of the wealth of this country. Kaya kayo naman, nasa sa isip nyo, kayong mga graduate students, kayong mga atleta, na tayo ay hindi tuloy na nagmamatari sa ating kabuhayan at sa ating likas na kayamanan. Number three, fundamental value. Tayo ay kailangan magkaroon ng isang matatag pagkakaisa sa ilalim ng isang ideologiya. That never happened in the more than 124 years history of the Filipino nation state. And we can trace the elusive, the lack, the, the elusive Olympic gold medal mula sa hindi pagkakamero or the lack and absence of an ideology that was that is being taught to the Chinese from their childhood to adulthood. That is being taught to the Japanese from a childhood to adulthood. That is being taught. Cleanliness is godliness. Honesty is the best policy. He became too honest. That when he was the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, he was so honest that he did not know what he was doing. The third value is that he was the supreme value of the Supreme Value, which is the interest of the Filipino people. He was the most important state secretary of America. He was the most important secret of the negotiating panel of America because he was so honest. Without being linked inextricably with our supreme value, which is what we call the interest of the Filipino people and the international self-interest of the Filipino people, yah, the danger ng pagtuturo ng mga values na hindi na asikaso sa supreme value at sa kasapuan ng mental values. Why? When you say fundamental values. We are dealing with the foundation of this thing. So when I wrote the book, Coverture Revolution in Fitness and Sports, inuna ko yung fitness kasi sa sports. Kasi kung nag-concentrate ka sa sports, kaakibat ito na kailangan meron tayong mahusay na ekonomiya to sustain our sports program. To sustain the health of the country. It is inextricably linked to the health of the country. That only with the physical health of the Filipino people, but the mental health and ideological health. So then, fitness, physical health, mental, psychological, and emotional, and even ideological health. If we are not ideologically healthy, we can never have a healthy economy that can sustain and maintain a healthy sports program in this country. And we will never have that Olympic gold medal, mind you, will forever elude the Filipino people. Kaya, kailangan magkaroon ng soul searching na ginagawa ngayon ng Department of Education at sinasuggested namin sa ng Revolusyong Duterte for a revolutionary government to the Commission on Higher Education. At hindi ko nga pala namin dito, ang aking, mag-isang Tagalog eh, ang aking pinaka-sponsor dito ay nilitibang hindi si Professor Luis Latina ng Philosophy of Education. Napakang po natin si... Napakang ganda ng tinuturo mo, Professor. Philosophy of Education. 
go uh, the, the wise and wherefores of uh, education. So, Hamagin ko na lahat ang mga dapat kong sabihin ito sa fitness and sports. Sa bata buli, ang ibig namin sabihin sa quality at saka sa excellence ay kahusayan. I don't know the long word for being mahusay. I don't know the long word for being excellent. Pero sa Tagalog, mahusay. Husay. So, it lies in this emphasis skills, 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 kahusayan. Kahusayan gives birth or gives way to what we call tangan, honor. If you have excellence, you will have medals, you will, you will have presentations, you will have awards, you will have honor and distinction. But the third one, na bibigay naman ng isang ideolohiya at kailangan ng bawat atleta na nandito ngayon at mga graduate students na nandito ngayon na tumulong sa pagpapalagahan ng isang ideolohiya at sa pagsasapuso hindi lamang sa pagpapalagahan not only in the propagation but in the inculcation not only in the inculcation of these values but the internalization of these values sa ating isip, sa ating puso at sa ating kaluluwa So ang pangatlong gusto kong dinan dito ay hindi di ba hindi. Hindi lamang ang kapusayan. Hindi lamang ang dalawin. Hindi lamang kundi ang malasakit. Concern. You are not only concerned with yourselves. You can use to be concerned with your family. And when you expand the meaning of family, you will meet the concern of the nation. And as graduate students, I would like you to invite the sociological imagination. Ang ibig sabihin nito, all our personal biographies, ang ating kasaysayan bilang mga individual, ang ating kasaysayan bilang mga pamilya, ay mayroong intersection doon sa national narrative. Ang ibig sabihin nito, lahat kayo, maliipan ang tingin ninyo sa inyong mga pamilya, maliipan ang tingin ninyo sa inyong mga sarili, kayo ay mayroong may aambar, kayo ang mayroong may tutulong sa pagundan ng ating kasaysayan bilang mga pamilya. So mga kasaba, yun ang aking uh, pinakaminsahan sa inyo na hindi lang ang pusay hindi lang ang dalaw, kundi isang malasakit sa ating kapwa, hindi lamang sa pamilya, kundi sa pinalaking pamilya, at din di ba, kundi ang buong isang bayanang Pilipino na pinagigipaglaman natin, ni Hilipong magsitayo po tayong lahat. At tasa niyo na pati kamao.
Again, thank you very much, Visa Bishop Nino Estaya, what you have shared to enrich our knowledge. And in recognition of his unwavering support as manifested by his presence today, GSC will now present this plan of appreciation to no other than our very brilliant speaker, Bishop Nino Estaya. I would like to call on Dr. Arnaho, together with Dr. Josephine Piedena, Dean Martyr, and all coordinators to award the token and plan of appreciation to Bishop Taya. Let me read to you the content of this citation. This certificate of appreciation is given to Bishop Anilo S. Taya for sharing his valuable time, effort, and wisdom as guest speaker during the Gibraltar State College Graduate School Sports Fest 2018, held on November 22, 2018, at GSC Salvador Campus. Given this 22nd day of September 2018, at the Gibraltar State College Salvador Campus McLean of Buena Vista, Guimaras, Philippines, signed Ernie M. Martir, PhD, D. Graduate School and Rogelio T. Arnao, Ph.D. College President.
pandangan, tuntutan, hinamdan, kaiwayan, dalam tempat pagtihon, dalam tempat ratas, sa mundo gawin. The Christmas night capital and rice granary of Western Visayas. It is the famous great sea of Christendom and the land of the water pools. The famous great Sorong uh, Festival. Again, I'm proud to present to you the 370 student numbers. We have the writing. Writing, Mary Brady. Pai 
Sige, forward, forward. Di pa kita ang beauty. Masin ko lang laksin lang. Amo na yung pinakalaman ang participant. That's why we are unnumbered. <laughs> Sige. Take it away.
And I will shout you. 
very innovative way of introducing your participants. And this time, are you ready to be entertained? Because of what to what you be? Because at this juncture, let us welcome on stage with echoing applause as Mr. Deobrachius and Estrada, and as student of Mosqueda Campus, gives an intermission number.
At this time, you will be witnessing the hoisting of the Vimara Street College Graduate School banner by Dr. Artaho and Dr. Josephine Pudena, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Sir! 